Hello everyone, today in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to do the site loading or in other words, the installation of third party applications on the BYD system itself. So let's get started. So we start off with the very first step which is to actually pair our phone via Bluetooth to the system as you can see here. So my phone is actually already paired to the system and and it's shown connected so the reason why we are doing this is because we want to access one of the menu on the system itself which is the phone menu over here you can see phone so this is to actually expose this keypad which we will need it later so to do this we actually have to pair it with our phone via bluetooth so the next step is actually to connect to a Wi-Fi hotspot. So this Wi-Fi hotspot enable our phone and the system to actually share the same network. So uh, to do this, you come to the system menu under link, you can see wireless LAN, and then you just connect to one of your hotspots that you are currently using, in which for mine, I will be connecting to my hotspot here. Let me just have a look. Oh, there it is, it's got connected by itself. So there it is, I'm already connected to my hotspot. And so now I should be able to go on to the next step, which actually is to... So we go back to the phone menu, which exposes the keypad which we are using. And on the keypad itself, we are trying to enter the secret passcode. And the code goes like star hex 91532547 hex and star. And there you go, you see the secret menu. So this brings you to this secret screen that shows the IMEI number and as well as a column or a row to actually enter your passcode. So this passcode requires a separate software to actually generate. So do take note the IMEI number, especially the last six digit of the number. I repeat the last six digit of the IMEI number. So we'll be using this number to actually generate the secret code via a separate application. So on the phone itself, we have this uh, passcode generator in which we enter our last six digits of our IMEI and then it will, when you click submit, you actually generate a few options for your passcode. You can use any of them. So let me just choose one and enter it on the screen itself. So let's enter the passcode. As you can see here, once we have entered the passcode, we should be able to press uh, enter and then it will go on to the next screen so there it goes and here it's the next screen where the secret menu is so on this secret menu itself it shows a few number of debugging tools probably used by the BYD service center which we only require to use the test tools tab so once you expand you can see a number of things that you can enable the two things that we want to enable is actually the wireless ADB debug switch so make sure that you see this is actually toggled on switched on I repeat and you can actually see the IP address that is stated here. This is actually shared uh, on your hotspot, so which is why we actually use the hotspot. We wanted to see the IP address here. Do remember to take note of this IP address. In my case, it's 106. Then the last one is actually the debug mode uh, USB. So you also have to enable. Uh, make sure this is enabled and the rest is up to you in which you can actually give it a try i'm not sure what this anc is on now we're going to switch it off so the rest will just be like this yes so we can leave this menu as is and then we can go back to the other screen which i'll show you on how to actually connect to this system via so on the android phone we actually install a tool called easy fire tools and under settings we can actually set the ip address that we saw earlier on the debugging screen over here as you can see i've entered the address as per what we saw earlier and then we can go back to the main screen and you can press connect button over on the top right and you try to connect so when this happens a pop-up will actually appear on the byd screen which is like this allow usb debugging so you just, you just have to ensure that the always allow for this computer is checked and then you click allow so this way your phone will be able to connect to the debugging mode to this system and enable installation of third-party apps through your phone so the first thing that we want to install on this app as you can see after it's connected see it turns green and it's connected so we will go back to custom apk file we select the file we want to use the package installer unlock so this package is actually to disable the blocker that uh, not allow us to install third-party apps on the system. 
So by clicking yes, you actually start installation. And once it's done, it will actually show successful. Let's wait. Uh, there it goes. Operation successful. So we have successfully installed the unlocker. So now from here, we can go back to the file manager in which the file manager, you can actually pop in your USB drive and you can search for your APK files that you want to install. So in our case, let me just give an example. Let's say we want to install the F-Droid APK. Previously, it will show a pop-up which says that third-party apps is not allowed, but now the pop-up will be disabled and you will be able to install it as per normal. See, you press OK and it goes pop-up and it goes install. And there it is. You notice that it actually starts installing instead of having the blocker. So we have unlocked the blocker itself and you can now install any applications that you want on your system. So this is how it's done. So from here, you can go to various websites to download the APK files to load the different third-party apps that you might be interested in loading in the system. In my case, I've loaded a few default ones. Waze is one of them and also Chrome browser. So there are many other ones that you can choose from. So that's it. Thanks for watching.